This is the LGM Analyzer, a versatile tool which currently consists of two modules, a premium estimator and a least cost optimizer. The premium estimator allows you to formulate your own contract design and calculate premiums for alternative LGM dairy insurance contracts. The least cost optimizer will identify the least cost contract once a target net guarantee income over feed cost is established. This allows you to minimize monthly premium payments while maintaining a target net guarantee income over feed costs for your farm's total milk production. In the near future, a third module will be added to allow comparison of the costs and performance of a bundled option strategy generated as a result of running either of the first two modules. As we look at the top of the page, the Documentation tab contains detailed written instructions for the operation of the LGM Analyzer. We'll begin in the Premium Estimator by selecting the insurance contract month and year from the drop-down menus at the top. Keep in mind your insurance coverage under LGM Dairy will begin two months from the selected insurance contract month and will run for one to ten months depending on contract design. The second input required is the deductible level. This is the dollars per hundred weight of gross margin that is not insured or guaranteed through your contract. Keep in mind that deductibles and premiums have an inverse relationship. The higher your deductible, the lower your premium and vice versa. Once the deductible has been chosen, we need to define how the feed equivalents will be entered into the LGM Analyzer data system. As you can see, there are four different ways to enter corn and soybean meal equivalent amounts. Selecting the Enter Manually button will give you full control of the amounts used by the module. For those of you who opt for less customization and fewer inputs, choosing minimum, default, or maximum corn and soybean meal feeding rates may be desirable. If you need more information, the conversion rates for each choice are listed in the Documentation tab under the Feed Values subheading. Next, you need to fill in the appropriate input boxes for the maximum monthly milk production, corn equivalents, soybean meal equivalents, and desired coverage level. All input cells are highlighted in yellow and can easily be changed by entering your own information. The program automatically displays calculations with respect to expected milk revenue and corn and soybean meal equivalent feed costs in the adjoining columns. For this example, I'll choose the default feed values with 100% coverage at a $1.20 deductible level. Only the months covered within your contract should be checked. The rest should be unchecked by clicking the boxes, but be aware the production in those months will still count toward the total farm milk. The last three columns of the input form display the monthly gross margin on an aggregate basis, per hundred weight of total farm milk, and per hundred weight of covered milk. At this point, it's highly recommended that you save your data by clicking the Save Data button at the bottom. When you save the file, a comma-separated text file is created on your computer that can be opened directly into a spreadsheet program. By saving this file, you have the ability to upload the same input information every time with the click of a button, instead of having to manually enter the input data again. This feature makes it very easy to run multiple analyses over an extended time period. Then click the Calculate LGM Premium button to complete the process and estimate the premium cost. Summary and Sensitivity Analysis tables highlight the results below. The premium, gross margin guarantee, and net income over feed costs are shown for the total coverage period, per hundred weight of all milk produced on your farm, 
and per hundred weight of all insured milk produced in the summary table. Again, it's important to remember the difference between covered milk and farm milk. The sensitivity analysis table helps you identify trends in several components, including total premium cost and payout probability for different deductible levels. Additional information can be obtained by clicking the Show Extra Columns button at the top. By clicking this button, a series of per hundredweight values are shown for both covered milk and total farm milk. You may wish to use the Least Cost Optimizer to find the optimum coverage level based on a target net guarantee income over feed cost. We can head over to the Least Cost Optimizer page and fill in the appropriate inputs. Aside from the input box for net income over feed cost, all other inputs are the same as those found in the Premium Estimator module. In fact, you can use the same comma-separated value file in either program module. Notice the difference between the input form in this module versus the Premium Estimator. Here there is no column showing the desired coverage level. The optimization module will determine the coverage percentages that will return the desired net guarantee income over feed cost at the lowest premium cost. Also notice that you need to enter the target net income over feed cost, which was not required in the previous module. For this example, I'll set the deductible to $1 per hundredweight and enter a target net income over feed cost of $5.50 per hundredweight using the default feed equivalents. Again, once all inputs have been entered, it's a good idea to save your data by clicking the Save Data button at the bottom. Once the data is saved, click on the large blue button and a summary of the results will be displayed below. The tool changes the coverage level in each month to produce the lowest possible premium cost for the chosen deductible. Again, the summary table at the bottom contains the same information we saw in the premium estimator. For more information and to access this tool, please visit the Understanding Dairy Markets website and select the LGM Dairy tab. Then click on the Supporting Software subsection. Or you can visit the UW Dairy Management website and select the LGM Dairy tab.